What is up there everybody, Citrus Aviation here for yet another video. And today, a co-worker of mine and myself went down to Dayton, Ohio to have a fun day as an aviation journey. So, Ohio has a reputation to maintain and it is an interesting state that has a lot of aviation history and a lot of aviation stuff going on. And so we went down to Dayton, Ohio, visited the Air Force Museum and went to MTS. So follow along with our little journey here. We first started by going to the United States Air Force Museum. This is a pretty awesome place to visit. It is the largest aviation museum in the world with the largest collection of aircraft in the world, which is pretty impressive. The museum consists of four massive hangars and we're gonna go through all of them in this video. The first hangar shows the aircraft from the First World War and early aviation period. Pretty cool collection of aircraft that they have here. These go up to post World War II Quite a few interesting aircraft here. Another neat thing I love about the museum is they show the inner walkings of these aircraft, how they, are, they were built, the frames of them, and you get to look at a bunch of the engine designs that were early on aviation, some of which continue to be essentially used to this day in different variants. They showed a bunch of World War I aircraft. Uh, my favorites were actually these large bombers here, this Italian bomber and there was a British bomber, both of which were very unique and interesting aircraft. They all, of course, have a uh, DR-1, and a bunch of other aircraft as well, stopped with Camel, some pretty neat pieces of flying history. We move to the post-war aircraft, including the first all-metal bomber, the B-10, and then there's a bunch of other aircraft pre-World War II here. Hangar 2 features the World War II aircraft, and a lot of these are some of the most iconic aircraft of all time. Of course, the museum has the famous Memphis Bell on display. They have a really nice display for it, as a pretty neat setup. They have a bunch of well-known fighter aircraft. They have the P-40, P-38, P-51 Mustang. Is this the D? Yeah. yeah. It's got the bubble canopy. Got the external tanks. Fighters whose job was to keep the bombers safe. Yep. Favorite here, P-47. Maybe the best sounding engine of all time on this. Yeah. Yeah, the Thunderbolt, right? Yeah. It's a D model. Most common version. They have a ton of aircraft. They have the DC-3 in the C-47 variant. And of course, they have a B-29 Super Fortress. So I always forget the name of this black one, but I had a model of it. Like yeah, I mean, like this is a, I know, it's a, it, it's a design that can, is continued to be used today. Yep. Thought I already used it so much. Hey, what well, computer stuff? Yeah, and then these are the, and these are the strips. That's awesome. Yep. And they still do this. That's incredible. Oh yeah, Steve still has some strips. I saw some strips from my book bag actually from school. Wow. So yeah. I'll just send my uh, Knox Knoxville Houston flight comes here. They drop down tray cons. Yep. That's funny. <laughs> Hangar three is a collection of Cold War aircraft. These include quite a few interesting aircraft. Uh, we have the upgraded B twenty nine in here, which is quite interesting to look at. I think it is. It's another one. It's a later variant of B-29, isn't it? Super fortress. WB-51. WB-51D Super Fortress. Improved version of the B-29. They didn't make too many of these because they eventually went to jet-powered aircraft like the B-47. More nuclear deterrence. Yeah, but they did make this. We also have several MiGs, MiG-21s, MiG-17, MiG-15. Of course, the B-52 is one of the centerpieces of this hangar. There is an F-22 Raptor on display here, which was quite unique. This might be a Cold War design, but every airline still uses these. Yeah, why not? If it ain't broke. I know, right? And then you go to 
one corner of this hangar, and it has a lot of really unique aircraft. They have a Constellation on display. This is the military variant of the Constellation, which is really, really cool. And then they have a fighter jet corner, which is where a lot of the modern aircraft are. They have this more modern corner of this portion of the hangar as well. They have a B-1B Lancer on display. They have an F-5. They have several modern fighters, including the F-15 and the F-117, which is really cool. So this is where all the fighters are. Yep. Another thing, Dwight. F117. Storm. Yeah, it did. My uh, professor was telling me that because the computer systems pulled up automatically on this plane. Yeah. Before the fighter that was chasing it did. Yeah. And that crashed into the ground. Oh, it's an A, so it's one of the early ones. That explains why it's in the museum now. 1800 miles per hour. That'll do. I think that'd be an acceptable speed. 29. Yep, make 29. Yeah, this is like an iconic Russian fighter. Fal Falcrum A, so it's the Ollie one too. They're still, you're using, they're using these in Ukraine right now. Ah, these are the... Wild Weasel F4G. There's just such a unique collection of aircraft here. The A-10 is in here. The V-22 Osprey is in here. There's just such a massive, unique collection of aircraft. Basically something for everyone. If you're a fan of some sort of past aircraft, there's a chance it's in here. They even had an F-16, Fighting Falcon, SR-71, really cool aircraft. And this one even had the gray rubber tires on it, which were made to reduce heat absorption. So that was really cool. They have a C-141 Starlifter. This was the extended variant of it. And several other unique cargo aircraft. Look at that. Yeah, <laughs> That's disgusting. And I love it. That's all the ammo. Right? Yeah. This is the this is the fun one. The miniguns and the tank guns. It's like the A ten of the C one thirty. The one that you play with the video game. Right? Yes. Look at the bombs as fast as humanly possible. That was this aircraft. Well, that's what that's what the XB-70 was too. Which is yeah. Insane. This aircraft is famous for having broken a lot of speed records that it still holds to this day. Is that the engine for it over there? I think it broke some speed records. I don't know about this one. Yeah, three C though, and it broke a r endless number of speed records. Yeah. Hangar 4 is a unique collection of aircraft as this includes the XB-70, which is the world's largest and fastest aircraft of all time. I see hours. a white plane. That's actually a replica space shuttle. Oh, well, that's cool. It's not real. But if you look to your right. <gasps> look at that. Oh, and the president's planes are over there, too. Oh, yeah. Wow. Is this the biggest hangar? Yes. Yeah, by far. Look at this. They have a rocket ship there. And also over here, this was the experimental corner, but the XB-70 really does stand tall above the rest of the aircraft. Such a unique design. Massive aircraft. One of the fastest aircraft in the world. It could sustain Mach 3 speeds consistently. It could carry a large bomb bay load, and it was a massive aircraft. Only two were ever built. The only one that did not crash is on display in Dayton. Look at that. This black part right here. The, the folding way, section. Fold down. Look at those flaps. Mark 3. I think it's fast. Here's the engine for it. One, two, three. I see six engines. I see that correct. Three, four, five, six. Wow. In the experimental corner, they also have a lot of other unique aircraft. They had the prototype for the SR-71. They had an aircraft that I like to describe as the flying boat because it basically looked like a boat. Such unique aircraft on display here. I'm just showing some of them in the video, but you should go visit the museum if you want to see the full collection. My favorite portion of... Hangar 4, though, was the presidential corner, where they have a bunch of presidential aircraft on display. 
that have been used over the years. All right. How much fatter did it get since I It's because they have the glass set up. Yeah, to protect everything. Like, look at that. Oh, geez, I'm actually too tall for this. <laughs> that kind of a kitchen here? That's kind of cool. Look at some nice beds, man. Yeah, not bad at all. I, I bet the I bet the president's plane looks a lot sicker than this now, though. Yeah. Look at this toy. <laughs> That's in the video. <laughs> Just barely. Oh, look, you have a nice dinner in here. Hey, that actually looks really nice. <laughs> There's a little like telephone there too. I did it. The struggle bus. <laughs> look at that. That's a president's desk. Oh, whoa. Oh, that's a cool little meeting room. Yeah. Love the blue carpets, too. God, I guess I'm... I guess this is flying and stuff. <laughs> Let's see, can you get around the corner and stuff? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look, I'm still stuck This one is actually made by a YouTuber. Really? Yeah. Oh, like, so you've seen this one before? I've seen it on his YouTube channel. I think he his channel is called Big Planes or something like that. He makes Lego model airplanes. This is fantastic. Yeah. This is one of his projects he donated here to the museum. Jack Carlson? Yeah. Right there. And Marine One, he built that one too. Yeah. So he built, he built these two. He's building an A380 right now. Oh, wow. And he built a Southwest 737 Max that they have on display, I think, at the headquarters now. That's really cool. Yeah, so he built a lot of these cool things. I'll need to show you the video, but it's really, really cool. And for those watching the video, I'll just have it called, called here so you can watch. But look at this. You have to show oh, Look at this. It's a, one of the most gorgeous planes ever. There is beautiful. So sleek. It just instantly gets like 20 degrees warm when you step in here. Oh, yeah. The cockpit's huge. Yes. He had an engineer on the side. Yeah. Too. He had an engineer. And there was a fourth seat. Huh. Jump seaters. Jump seaters. I don't know nothing Can about that. Jump seat the president's plane. <laughs> I'll have cash. <laughs> Try to run up to the president. Secret Service tackles you like, oh, I have cash. I have cash. <laughs> I have cash to get on board. I can do it. I'm allowed. <laughs> I have prior permission. <laughs> the, the, like the sleeper beds. These designs actually came from trains where they would have the bed would be stored above and drop down. They're just, could you imagine yeah. there's no AC on this thing? Oh, hold Trying to get to sleep in this stupid little bed. Yeah. Well, maybe they make it too cold like they do on the modern ones. Oh, that'd be cool too. I don't mind too cold. Yeah. Look at them. like these seats actually look comfortable. I know. Because I oh, and, and the couch and the couches can be converted to beds. Look at that. This would be, this would be the best place to sleep. Probably. Yeah. The tail of the constellation. Look at that. Seven oh seven X. Oh. Look at it. Yeah, I knew you'd like this president section. This is so cool. The ultimate VIP section hey, museum. Many, look at it. Crazy. Oh, this is more like a real airline, huh? Yeah. This thing's bigger than the 737. Oh, this thing can fit six people in here. No way. Look at that. Oh, it's got wow. seats for five. Probably has a, a six jump seat. Oh, there's a galley? Like a regular galley in here? Look at that. Like, like airline seats and such? Yeah. But just, you know, all first class. Oh yeah, everything is first class in this plane. Yeah. Except for the crew. <laughs> These just benches you can just yeah, chill on. Yeah, bench seats. Well, oh, look at this. Room. Yeah, see this is like when the president. A whole presidential out, right? office. Yeah. With phones and a big TV, that's cool then. That's awesome. Oh, we got our office and conference room here. Yeah. We're about halfway down the craft now. Yeah. Only halfway. Look at this. Yeah, there's actual, like, seating area and such in here. After the museum, we went over to the military toy store, aviation store, and we did a tour of it. Aviation models. Let's go! Woo! All right, let's go. 
Look at this. This there's a 225. Now this model, this is That's really like cool. That's the same size as yours, right? Yeah, so this one, I found out about these. This is a $500,000 model. <laughs> what? Because it's actually made from what I I've heard, it's made in Ukraine. And it's oh, no, sipped it's really over and it's sipped oh, over here. So, so these are all custom. You look at all the Gemini's on the wall. Look at this. Just look. So they have the 200 scale one, they have the 400 scale one, and they have the 500 scale one. So I have the 400 scale one from Harper. I suspect these are both Harper ones here. Oh, and then that's the Gemini one. That's sweet. Nice. Yeah, some of these are really expensive. There's a 141. Oh, so there's two 141. See, there's a standard length one, and then that's the extended one there. That's the one that was in the museum yeah. just now. For sure. They have some NGs. All right, the problem is going to be picking one model. <laughs> They're pretty incredible. They're, there they are. What, like, what's the price on these? 210, 230? Pretty awesome. I didn't even realize you could get these anymore. Look at that. They just started making them again, actually, which is really cool. So I should get one of these. Yeah, if you look for one to stand second scale, they're pretty sweet. More two on a scale. The Concord is really sweet because these actually have moving oh, parts. So the nose moves and then the uh, engine outlets move. How much is it? I'm like having, I'm like, oh, uh, I'm having all the money. Sorry. This I just, I want to, uh, I would imagine they probably have to be careful. Yeah. <laughs> I shouldn't have bought that. <laughs> Okay, so here's some of the 400 scales. I see, I should start with 400 scales, not as expensive. <clears throat> okay. This is how you make your airport diamonds, right? Yeah, I think I'll go with this one, so. When you're ready, we'll take you right over here. All right, I'll put that there, and then we're going to pick something for him. Yeah, we have. What brand is that? That's the most expensive model, I think, here in the shop. Yeah, all right. Let's this place is awesome. Which one did you get again? Did you get this yeah, one? the BA. Yeah, BA 380, saw this in Dallas, and this is the brand new AV Sephora Mold. It's insane. Okay. You made a good pick there at Concord. Yeah. After the wonderful visit to the model aircraft store, we ended up going to Jimmy's Ladder and we had some really good food there. And then we drove home. It was a fantastic day trip. If you ever had a chance to go out to Dayton, Ohio, check out the museum, check out the store. Tons of great stuff to do there. There's some good restaurants too. So it's actually a fun place to visit if you're an aviation enthusiast. The next video on this channel will be a unboxing of the model I picked up at MTS, the Aviation 400 British Airways Airbus 380. So that is it for this video. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day and God bless you.